let's check the diodes and as you can see here we have some diodes that we are gonna check using the multimeter so here as you can see this white mark means to cathode okay as you can see or the negative terminal so we are gonna put the black probe in the negative terminal and the red probe in the anode or positive terminal we should get a reading as you can see in the multimeter we get a reading good so let's switch the probes we should not get any reading in the multimeter as you can see no reading means the diode is good so let's check the second diode with the same working principle always the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode we have a reading in the multimeter means the diode is good by switching the probes let's check no reading means the diode is good okay so let's check this diode also as you can see okay so of course we should put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode we have a reading in the multimeter let's switch the probes so now ready means the diode is good okay so now we're gonna check some diodes this is a glass diodes okay as you can see and this diode as you can see we have this blue band means a zener diode this is a zener glass diode as you can see okay always the diode with blue band as you can see means a zener diode okay but for this kind of diode with, with black bands, it can be zener diode or just normal diode. So let's check these diodes using the same working principle. Always, we should locate the negative terminal and the positive terminal. Here we get a reading. Okay. Let's switch the, the probes. No ready, we get to one in the multimeter means no ready, means the diode is good. So let's check this diode also. So always the black probe in the negative terminal. We get a reading, let's switch the probes. No reading means the diode is good. Okay, so let's check the other diodes. So the diode is good as you can see okay so let's check this diode also so as you can see we have a reading in the multimeter if we switch the probes no reading means the diode is good here as you can see we have a big diode here you can find this kind of diodes near to the power jack okay or near to the power jack connector with the same working principle always here the white mark means the negative terminal or the cathode so let's check this diode so we have reading here if we switch to probes we should not get any reading if you get a reading in both sides means the diode is bad or if you get a continuity so here the diode is good so let's check here also as you can see this is the power jack here we have the back of the power jack here we have two diodes basically these diodes are for protection so as you can see here this is the positive terminal we have plus and this is the negative terminal or cathode here we have the anode and here we have the cathode okay always you should locate first the anode and the cathode so as you can see we get a reading in the multimeter let's switch the probes so no reading means the diode is serviceable let's do the same thing for the second diode so the red probe in the positive terminal and the black probe in the negative terminal we get a reading if we switch the probes no reading means the diode is good okay so let's check this diode led2 so as you can see the diode is eliminated 
The first diode when we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode and we get the reading. Let's check the second diode because this diode contains two diodes inside it. If we switch the probes, as you can see, we will not get any reading. So let's check. No light, no reading. Okay, no light, no reading means the diode is good. Okay. Now, as you can see, this diode is for the computer motherboard. We can check it using the same working principle. So this is its terminals. So let's check its terminals using the multimeter. We get a reading here. Okay. So if we switch the probes, we should not get any reading. As you can see in the multimeter it means the diode is good. Okay. Right now, let's see this kind of diodes. This is a THT diodes or a true hall technology diodes. Okay. As you can see, this is holes over here. That's why we call it THT diodes. Here in the back of the motherboard, as you can see, we have the terminals. All these components are a true hall components. Okay. And here, of course, these diodes are surface mount components. So here we have the cathode, as you can see. This band means the cathode. So let's put the multimeter to the diode option or continuity option. And then check these two diodes. So we should get a reading. So as you can see, we get a reading when we put the black probe in the cathode and the red probe in the anode. If we switch the probes, as you can see, no reading in the multimeter means the diode is serviceable. Let's check the second one with the same working principle. So here we have cathode. So let's check. We get a reading in the multimeter. If we switch the probes, we should not get any reading. As you can see, no reading means the diode is good.